Can you jump, 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 jump? What is going on guys, my name is Trap and welcome to this video. So today I want to show you how to create a nice camera movement. And um, since my German tutorial, which is not a real tutorial, it's more like rage in video because everyone is asking me for this. Um, so the German video, just, yeah, many people say that's so nice <laughs> that I show how it works. But now I want to do this in English and for a real tutorial, so now. Let's start. Don't want to talk about this so much. <clears throat> what you're going to need is a camera and a circle. So, um, normally when you create both of them, you've got this, and you just drag the camera into the circle, and then you can click the circle, click this movement tool where you can, uh, yeah, the rotation tool. Then you gotta rotate the stuff. Yeah. So this is quite it. How it works. You can do stuff like um, anything, but yeah, just make it center it at the first time. Uh, then you go to the drop. My drop is normally at 80 frames, and then you go back. And now you can change it like this. Maybe something like this. Yeah, looks cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going back here to this point make a keyframe, then I'm going to 70, this is 10 frames uh, in front of the drop, you see, and what this does is that the text slow is slowly starting and then at the drop it's going to be faster, like this. Then I go to the end, I make a keyframe when the text is like this, maybe like this, yeah. This is just an example. So this looks like this now, and it's moving here. If there's any weird thing about this, you can click the circle, go in coordinations, right click here, animation, F curve, and then you can see simply every curve. So you can edit them. If this would be not to this side, it would be more to this side. I would make a keyframe. This would look like this. Um and maybe and maybe I want to do it like here then it's like boom and I don't want it to be that far away so I go back to the coordinations and you made the F curve so I need to find the curve which is for this one I can see it's going back really hard so I guess it's going to be the red one so I take this drag it down so it's slowly doing this and like this making it straight what this does is that the text doesn't go backwards so much. Yeah, so this is quite it. This is like the thing how this works. It's like slowing, getting faster. What else can you do? You can click the text and um, set up this one. So you click here and then there. Then you can change everything. This is like how the text is spinning. So now you're gonna go to 80, make a keyframe, and you're gonna go to 70, make a keyframe, and go to the start. And then you can rotate it like this. So it's doing like this, looking so much better. And here you can do like such a rotation the end slow down so this has a pretty nice movement now and I'm probably gonna say this because it looks cool <laughs> okay so this is what you got it's simply made in some minutes um for the easiest things the rest like splines and some other effects on the text like sim uh, like plain um those you're made later but yeah this is quite it so thank you for watching, I hope I could help you, and see you in the next tutorial, thank you guys, and I'm gonna stay active, just that you know. Yeah, bye.